What is up, my Pisces? My uh, little emotional water signs. All right, this is going to be your weekly love reading for the 23rd through the 30th of August. And we are going to find out what is going on in that love life. Because we are all about love here at Stella K. Because that's what tarot is mostly about, is love. I'm not going to lie, finances can come into this sometimes. So sometimes, you know, we're going to go in opposite directions. Remember, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. It could resonate with some of you. Half of it could resonate. Some of it could resonate. All of it could resonate. Take what's your story. Throw the rest out. If it's not your story, don't make it your story. Also, this is for any Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry, my throat chakra is a little bit off today. I've been doing a lot of readings. Um, and also, time is fluid. So if you see this after the 30th, this is when the universe wants you to see it. So don't worry about it. Like, Whenever you see this video is exactly when you're meant to see it. Um, when I did my pre-shuffle, I felt a, a little bit of happiness coming your way. Like, I feel like something unexpected is going to come. Like, just something completely unexpected. Like, you don't see it coming, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. We'll pull the cards and see what's going on, but that's just what I got in my pre-shuffle. So... And I also do a meditation for everyone at the uh, before I do their reading. So, and I'm sorry about my throat chakra; it's a little bit blocked today. I can actually like feel it, like it's closing a little. So, if my words sound a little off, I'm really sorry. All right, let's go over your overall energy. Bottom of the deck, really good card, Wheel of Fortune in your favor, upright. That means you are turning that wheel. And the way you want it to go. Like that wheel is turning for you this month, all right? Or this week. So uh, whatever you want to happen, like make it happen. Like you have the wheel of fortune in your favor. All right, past energy. We have the star. This is hope. This is inspiration. This is intuitiveness. This is also can just be an Aquarius might have been in your recent past. Because I'm just doing the recent past. And it's a beautiful card to have. For your recent past. So let's see what's in your current energy. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So you're definitely in communication with someone. You may have come out of community. You may, may have been blocked. Or you have blocked someone for a little bit. Or you guys might have had like a little bit of off time with communication. Or not communicating so well. But that time is over. Like that it's. It, communication is definitely back on. Okay, and your subconscious feelings, you're feeling a little bit of conflict with this Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You may be feeling like conflict is on the horizon. We'll clarify, so don't worry about that. All right, in your obstacles category, we have the Seven of Wands. When we're talking about wands, that's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And when you're talking about the Seven of Wands, I mean, this could be like kind of like a shady character I mean, you're, it's kind of like this guy, see how he's kind of fighting sticks, but no one is holding on to those sticks on this deck. Um, it's kind of, it may be actually like fighting yourself or a little bit of sabotage. We want to watch out for that. All right. And the influence of others, we have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Definitely somebody's holding on to something. Like it could be holding on to money. It could be holding on to an idea but I feel like there's people in your life that are definitely holding on to maybe preconceived notions about you. I don't know why that just came out, but I feel like that's what others are holding on to. So you probably are having a problem with people thinking you're a certain way when you're not. And it there may be a little gossip going on and it's bothering you. And I feel like in the influence of others, like that's kind of what you're thinking right now. Okay, and then what you should do is the hangman. Maybe it's time to go a little stagnant. That's major arcana. It may be time to just take a moment to think and just hang out, hang there, like think about what you should do. Okay, in your subconscious, we have the emperor in your conclusion, sorry. We have the emperor. This is Aries energy. Okay, so when we're talking about the emperor, this is, you know, a main man of the deck. Like he trumps the kings. He is amazing. I mean, he just has every single thing you would want a man to have so if you're a man you're going to become this if you're a woman this is what you're going to get he's stable he's considerate he's kind but at the same time he's also like very um 
intuitive and he is able to open his heart. He's the emperor. This is the kind of person you want in your life. And that's in your conclusion. So that's not that's not a bad reading so far. Okay, I just got this amazing new deck by Cicelli. Uh, what is it? Cicello uh, uh, Merticelli, I think is how you say that. And I have been getting amazing clarification with this deck this week. And I absolutely love it. It's got beautiful artistry, and it just really has given me great clarification. So remember, for your overall energy, Wheel of Fortune, it's turning in your favor. So what you want to happen this week, make you can make it happen. You know, it's, it's kind of like the Magician, but not exactly. But just remember, the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. Buy a lot of ticket. <laughs> you never know. It, it can go to all facets of your life. All right, the past we have the star. This is Aquarius energy. You know, this is hope. This is inspiration. This is intuitiveness. This is being at one with yourself. Okay, but present energy is the five of pentacles in reverse. You may have just come back into contact with someone that you weren't in contact with. So let's see what's up, up with that. All right, four of swords. You definitely took a break from somebody. That can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right, then we have the Queen of Wands, all right? That's Water Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And this is like my sexy vixen card. Like, this is kind of like my sexy woman. She's vibrant. She's abundant. She's sensual. She has, like, all, like, the right moves. She's got that fire energy within her, you know, just fiery, wonderful energy. And I feel like after this break was done, like, you guys may have had a little bit of fun together, but then we have the Three of Swords here, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So there was a little heartbreak. This may have been a person, okay, what am I feeling here? This may have been a person in your present energy that's coming back to you, but you don't really, I feel necessarily, feel like they're the right person in your life. I feel like they broke your heart in the past. I don't know if it's completely broken right now. But I feel like you guys may have had a situation ship and it may have been a situation where the relationship was based around the root chakra, if you get what I'm saying. And you needed to take a break from them and they're coming out of this communication now and you're not so sure if you want to take this person back. And remember, energies can be interchangeable, so whichever story is yours, take it, because I'll be talking about another person and you because this is a love reading, but I really feel like you don't know if you want to take them back because they hurt you so many times before. They really hurt you, and because it was a root chakra-based relationship that really kept you guys together, I feel like you felt used sometimes. So, okay. And your subconscious feelings, we have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. This is conflict. So conflict could have been over a lot of things. And then we have the, the Wands here. So that's even more conflict. The Five of Wands, again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy. And when you're talking about the Five of Wands, I mean, this is more conflict. And it's somebody, like, not listening to your needs. Like, somebody was not listening to your needs. And they would almost fight back about your needs. Okay, then we have the Three of Pentacles. When we're talking about the Three of Pentacles, this is somebody wanting to work on it. This can be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, so they are coming back in wanting to work on all this conflict, but I feel like in your present energy, I don't feel like you're heartbroken. I feel like you're thinking about how they broke your heart. And do you want to let this person back into your life? Because I feel like there is like a really strong root chakra connection with you guys, which is sexy time. But you're just like, do I want to go through it again? Do I, do I really, do I want to move on or do I want to let this happen to myself again? Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. When we're talking about the Seven of Pentacles, this is more effort being needed. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and you're frustrated about it. You don't know what to do. You know, and this is all in your subconscious. So it's like you need to bring these things forward to your conscious state. And really make educated decisions on your relationship basis right now. Especially, like, I haven't pulled a card that this is someone from your past. This could be your recent relationship. But I'm feeling like you're starting to have questions and a little bit of heartbreak. 
Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is, like I said, fighting against yourself almost. Fighting no one. So let's in Wands are a fire energy. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have the Ten of Wands. And again, more fire energy. And this is carrying Ten Wands on your back. This is a lot of burden. That is, that's a huge burden to be carrying on your back. Okay, then we have the Empress. When we're talking about the Empress, this is feminine energy. This is Venus. This is love. This is nurturing. This is abundance. This is what needs to be brought into this relationship. This is in your obstacles category. So those are the things that we're always missing from your relationship. I feel like, and remember, if I say he, she, empress, king, queen, I do not mean like a boy or girl. I mean an energy. And this energy was not brought into this relationship at the correct time. And it wasn't given. And it, it that's what has always, always been missing. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles, so I feel like money was not an issue. Definitely could be dealing with either a fire sign or an earth sign. I don't feel like money was the issue. I feel like more it was like that nurturing part of the relationship. It was more like fun-based and root-based, and you weren't um, really hitting those emotional milestones you should have been hitting so I feel like you probably put a little bit of time into this relationship. All right. So in influence of others, we have the four of pentacles. So, I mean, people think you're holding on to something. Again, this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So definitely we have a lot of pentacles going on here. Knight of pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So if this isn't a relationship that's been going on for years or has been, it's just been going too slow. I feel like it's just too slow and people around you think it's too slow. They're just like, what are you doing? Why are you wasting so much time? Then we have the Four of Cups. When we are talking about the Four of Cups, this is water energy. This is your energy. Capricorn, Scor Scorpio, or a Pisces. I mean, you're talking about like feeling a little bit jaded and sometimes not talking. And you're not seeing that fourth cup because I feel like it's empty. That's the first time I've ever said that about that card, too. Usually I concentrate on the three full cups. I feel like you guys had something, but there was like that cup that was empty that's really important. And there's just something missing in this relationship. All right, but then we have the two of cups. And now we see why this was a difficult relationship, because it's a soulmate. And a soulmate is a really hard situation to deal with. Um, soulmates come into our lives to teach us lessons. If you go to StellaK.com, that's my website. I actually have written some articles on soulmates and twin flames. So you, when you see tarot, you don't always think like, oh, it's my perfect match. No, we have a ton of soulmates that come in and out of our lives. They're here to teach us lessons. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I told you my root chakra is getting closed up and I almost feel like that's what your guys' problem always was. Like there wasn't the communication and that nurturing verbally that needed to happen <coughs> but really weird because as soon as that two of cups came up that's what started happening maybe that's the lesson you guys needed to learn like you're not like there just wasn't that verbal communication on the right level there may have been a lot of conflict and fighting because we have two conflict cards on the board already okay what you should do is stay stagnant with this like don't move yet don't move on it and let's see what's up all right, Nine of Wands, of course, that's more um, fire energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and a Leo. When we're talking about the four or the five, Nine of Wands, I'm sorry, I told you. You know, it's being prepared, being persistent. Like, you really need to prepare yourself for this relationship. I feel like right now, you need to hold on to that, that problem that you know it was in that relationship and figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, stay stagnant. Don't move forward. Not yet. Then we have the Seven of Wands, which is, again, the same thing. You already had a Seven of Wands right over here. You know, fighting a losing battle sometimes because you're fighting against nothing. There's sticks and nobody's listening. Like, I feel like this person doesn't listen. Like, I really feel like they're, again, fire energy. All right, then we have the Page of Swords. When we're talking about the Page of Swords, this is like... um can be a very small offer. It can also just mean spying. I feel like this person is like spying on like probably like your social media or any other um, like Instagram, anything you have that they can get into. They could even be following you. That's what I feel like. 
or, you know, vice versa. Because remember, these energies can be interchangeable, but I feel like there's a lot of spying going on and a lot of people with preconceived notions that aren't validated and it causes arguments between the two of you. And that has to stop. At the end, we have the emperor here. Okay, Aries energy, and I feel like if you guys can clear the throat chakra and really get on the same page with each other, there definitely could be an emperor coming into your life, or you could become that emperor. But there's definitely this um, the work that needs to be done on this relationship. Let's see what's going on with this emperor. King of Pentacles, again, money and stability in that aspect of your relationship isn't a problem the money's there the stability's there with the home and the family okay i feel like you guys get a, a, you are on the same page in that but i feel like uh here comes the fool and nobody's taking that leap of faith like you guys are spying on each other you're looking into each other and i feel like you're both suspicious like it just for some reason the trust is not and that now i'm seeing what's going on it's the trust the trust isn't there with one or both of you because that leap of faith, it isn't in the reverse, but it needs to be taken and it hasn't been taken yet. Okay. And then we have the page of wands, which is normally like my booty call card. And what did I say? This relationship is ruled by the root chakra, which is sexy time. All right. So what I'm going to say about this reading is definitely there are a lot of issues in this relationship. And you have been heartbroken more than once. This is may even be like an on and off thing that has been going on for quite a while. And the booty call, like, booty calls don't work. I just, I, I always tell people, like, if you're not monogamous, just don't even do it. Especially if you're a woman because you won't get the respect you deserve. All right, let's pull some angel romance cards and see what's going on here. But right now, there is somebody trying to come back into your life that just, you had a really tumultuous relationship with, and the trust wasn't there, and there was spying involved, and like I said, this wasn't about money. It was all about off communication. You guys just have different communication um, chakras. You just both see things differently. So communicating is very difficult for the both of you. But where you do meet up is in the bedroom. And that's what keeps you guys coming back to each other. All right. Uh, love yourself first. Your uh, self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So definitely make sure you love yourself first. And respect yourself and your body. Like, no more booty calls. Like, if this person doesn't show up emotionally, they're not getting in your bedroom. Okay? Definitely. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. That goes perfectly with this reading. Like, there has been conflict. There, the emotional element isn't moving along as it should. It needs to progress. It can't just be a physical relationship, okay? Don't let anyone back into your life if they just want a physical relationship, especially someone that you tried to have a relationship with before because if it didn't work before, it might not work now. All right, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring faith and romance. All right, and exactly. This does, just because this person, like you had a connection with them at one time, this was a soulmate. This is somebody that needed to teach you a lesson. But you stay optimistic about your, your love life because there are so many other people that will want you. Like I'm feeling there's so many other people out there that you can go to um, online dating's never been so hot because a lot of us stay home a lot because we're most of us are still in isolation. But this relationship right here, I'm I'm sorry to say I'm not feeling it. I feel like, especially if they were a fire sign or a water or um uh earth sign. Sorry, I feel like this just isn't gonna work out with you two. You, there, if it was to work out, there's so much to work on. Like you literally have to, I would say, go to a couple's counselor because the emotional aspect, I feel like this was such a fiery relationship. It was up and down and all over the place. But because you had such like a connection in the bedroom 
and you guys did have fun together when you were getting along, it, it, you keep coming back around to this, and that's where I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's turning and turning. It's turning in your favor right now, but you need to have that self-respect for yourself. Do never let anyone uh, disrespect you, ever, or use you, okay? And vice versa for the other person. Don't treat anyone else like that. Okay, I'm Stella. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm new on YouTube, but I've been a reader for over 20 years, so I hope to help you with your love life. I'm sorry this wasn't the greatest reading, but, you know, sometimes we just need to move on because we move up. You have an emperor at the end here. I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like a new person is coming into your life, and it might, I feel like this person is going to have that same sexual connection, and you're going to have just as much fun with them. But you need to move forward, okay? Or go to a couples counselor. That's what I got for you this week for your love reading for August uh, 23rd through the 30th. And I'll see you in a few days for you how they feel about you reading. I love you, Pisces, and I'll see you in a couple days.